Imagine that you're having friends over for lunch and plan to order a pepperoni pizza. You recall Amy mentioning that Susie had stopped eating meat. You try calling Susie, but when she doesn't pick up, you decide to play it safe and just order a margarita pizza instead. Now, you might be wondering why I'm talking about pizza in what is supposed to be a recording about artificial intelligence. But think about what you just heard. People take for granted the ability to deal with situations like the one I just described on a regular basis. In reality, when we are doing that kind of reasoning, we are relying on not one, but a powerful set of universal abilities known as common sense. My name is Mayank Kejriwal, and I am a research assistant professor at the University of Southern California. I do research on big AI problems, such as whether we can have AI that actually gives us common sense. As it turns out, this is a surprisingly challenging effort. So where does the story begin? Well, first, we need to really understand what is common sense. But as it turns out, common sense defies a single precise definition. G.K. Chesterton, the famous English philosopher and theologian, famously wrote at the turn of the 20th century that common sense, quote, is a wild thing, savage and beyond rules, close quotes. Uh, modern definitions that are less colorful agree that you know today it is a, really a natural ability. Common sense is very natural to humans as opposed to formally taught abilities like calculus. Common sense is unusually broad and includes a surprising number of things such as social abilities, managing expectations, reasoning about other people's emotions, but also a naive sense of physics such as knowing that a heavy rock cannot be safely placed on a flimsy plastic table. The reason we call this night physics is because uh, people know such things despite not consciously working through physics equations. Uh, finally, common sense also includes background knowledge of abstract notions such as time, space, events, as well as cultural facts. And all of this knowledge allows us to plan, estimate, and organize without having to be too exact. So let's come to the big question. Do machines have common sense? As we all know, there have been enormous advances in artificial intelligence over the last one year even, where we have models, so-called large language models like chat GPT, that are surprisingly human-like, that can pass uh, SAT tests, that can pass law exams. So the question is, do they have common sense? And you might think this is a foolish question that if, if there is an algorithm that or a model that can uh, pass the SAT, uh, wouldn't the model have common sense? But in fact, uh, it turns out that uh, it may not have common sense. For example, in one of these early models, we typed in, you poured yourself a glass of cranberry, but then absentmindedly, you poured about a teaspoon of grape juice into it. It looks okay. You try sniffing it, but you have a bad cold, so you can't smell anything. You are very thirsty, so you. And we asked the model to complete the sentence. And the model replies, so you drink it, you are now dead. So the model thinks that if you drink cranberry juice mixed with grape juice, you might be dead. Um, this is obviously a violation of common sense. And there are many examples like this. Some of them work, some of them don't work because the model is, is getting better, it's getting updated. But we do know that these large language models like ChatGPT can hallucinate, they can make up information, they make surprisingly um, uh, naive mistakes that even children would not make. So in fact, the consensus is in the academic community that large language models may not have common sense. So the question now for us as a community is, how do we build models with common sense so that we can trust these models, so that we can talk to the models? And how can we know when these models have common sense? What is a test of common sense? We don't, we don't test ourselves on common sense. We just assume that we have it. So how can we do that for a model? What's a test of common sense? These are all big questions that I address in my work. And I encourage you to check out my press page as well as my research on this work and to follow our work if you are interested.
Thank you for listening.